Hello guys and uh, welcome back. Um, welcome to new subscribers. Wow, brilliant. Um, right, okay. Today we are going to be looking at this image and what it's all about is, um, like I've mentioned in the last few, pretty cool image, um, just investigating stuff, um, having a look around and just finding crazy crazy stuff so it's about gonna be more or less about um how to view these images what to look for stuff like that well i'm gonna show you how or what i look for basically um and if you're interested in doing this research yourself um hopefully that will help you as well so like initially first thing on this is um the, you can't see the arm here which um, is taking the, the selfie so straight off the bat um, see it should be coming out here somewhere there's a slight bit of funniness here where where the arm is probably coming out but it's very well done so just another thing as well, right? I mean, I, d I don't know if it's it's probably me, but um, they've got all this gump on the outside, like as if someone, you know, open to the elements, like as if someone can come and fix it, type sort of thing. I was just wondering why. Maybe it's just me. Um, why all this stuff is exposed? So. Okay. Let's go and have a look. Um, okay, so... What am I doing? I've only just finished... Up. Okay, right, this, this is all ongoing as well. So what I'm going to show you is nowhere near finished. And I will update this. I just thought... Um, it's so important to show people what um, NASA actually saw, basically. So, it's the top half of this that we're going to be looking at. So, is that the one or not? It might be. Okay, so this is the, the crop that I made. And there's some... Um, contrast put in there now there's a few things I want to point out to you um, which I've uh, shown you in other videos how they mask these uh, images and stuff so this you see this looks like a looks like a rock there's one over here as well um, now this is the way I see it, you know, people aren't, not everyone is going to see the things the, the way I see them. But to me, this doesn't look like a rock sticking out. Sorry if this, you can see the screen darkening, I'm not, like I said before, I don't know if it records like that, but this to me. So we have what looks like a mound, and then we have the distance behind it but it starts here it runs straight off this like as if this area here is a, is a fillet and it is you see what I mean you can see this stuff running through see so that's one of the things you would initially start looking for here as well we've spoken about rocks with shadows which aren't shadows they're literally they're just covering something up so if we have a look how bizarre does that look 
and there is something in there. Let's just quickly Okay, so there's something in there. Let me see this. That is not normal. Now the con when I was talking about contrast and stuff like that, I have lost a few of the darker areas, but it's not it's not too bad. So once you know about this stuff, I mean that sticks out like a sore thumb. So what is that? That's not right. Okay. So what I was interested in, I just wanted to have a look at these these mountains. Um, and I can show you the further on we go through that the quality of the top of this image is much worse than the bottom half. Let me see if I can quickly show you what I mean. So when, when the image comes in, it's you know it's it's all the same it's all the same size but what they do i'm presuming this is what they do the image is cut up and this is why we have these fluffy sort of um what would, what would you say graduated lines like this so they can mask what is going on no, you can't see. You can't see in that. So let's move on to this one. Okay, so this has got a lot more. This has got some um, black exposure and some uh, a contrast in it. So we'll see if I can show you there. Okay. So you can see the blockiness of the back of this. Well, hopefully you can see it. And it runs down through this part of the image and then reduces to less and less. So you have this blockiness. It'll be more apparent in the in the next images that I show you. And then we move down into the image, and obviously then you've got the the rover itself. I mean, you've got plenty of detail in that. So basically, they're cutting the original image up and reducing the, the quality of it and sticking it all back together. So looking at this mound area again, you see how this strangely just runs through. It does not look right to me. See that? I mean we can see this stuff running through. And then we have this. They just look like it's like cutting a hole in a flat in something flat. It doesn't look right. So all this is being put over this to mask what is going on but you know in the image. So you have to look at your perspectives and stuff to see if they look right. <coughs> okay, so I think today we're just going to concentrate on this area because there's enough in it, believe it or not, to... Uh, make a whole vid from. Let's just quickly, I'll show you something. Very interesting. You there, I was just reading about it and stuff. So maybe this has got tons and tons. This is the image here. It's got tons of information. All sorts of stuff. Oh yeah. Life cycle cost $3.2 billion. Disgusting. You 
can see the scale of it here. So I'll show you that. This is the arm that's taken that picture. Sticking out the back there. It's the scale of it, so it's quite a lump. I think it's about three meters long or something. So this is where the camera is that took the selfie. There's some of the instruments. Hmm. That's it. It's in here somewhere. One of those. It just amazes me how exposed all this is. Is that is that right? Okay. Right, I'm trying to trying to get through this. Right, so we have another image here. You know, the way I talk about um, working on the colour with the tools that I use. And it, and it starts saturating and stuff like that, so that's where it is. So I do move to grayscale on this, and that's the main one that I'm going to be working on. And I will show you over, it might it might even be two, uh, th three parts maybe. Um, okay, so let's have a closer look. I think you'll be able to see the quality issue I was talking about, the image. You see how it's much more blocky here and stuff. So, but anyway... Let's just check this out briefly. Um, if you're new to all this and stuff and it's looking like, a, like an abstract painting or something, yeah, it, it will do. It's something you need to get used to. So these are the mountains in the, in the background. And you can see the quality of the top of the image compared to the bottom of the image. Yeah, Very different. And it's not because it's further away. I mean, these cameras are designed to take, you know, they, they have a very high... Well, I don't know if it did, actually. Well, you can read about it, but um, this shouldn't be a problem, and that wouldn't happen. So, as you can see, there's some very strange things going on in this image I think it was taken 2015 and this is Mount Sharp you can see there's different areas as usual blurred out areas and areas that they sort of missed as well you see the difference this is nowhere near finished I hope I'm getting the zoom levels okay for you see there's been less and less work you see this now so there is the contrast and This is why I've shown you the different levels of it. It's the only way I know, basically, to get all the details out. So, let's have a look in this area. We'll have a look at this, then we'll have a look at the black and white one. And I'll show you some stuff and I'll do a little bit of work on it. So from that last video that I sent out, it's basically where this one has come from. Um, and I was really surprised with this. The amount of stuff I was finding. So these lines, these are the sort of things you have to look at. And what you'll generally find is that the these foreground features are actually part of these background features. So you know, that's just pixelating a little bit for me. Like I say, just pause it and have a look.
I'll just circle some stuff. So we've been looking at this. Is it part of the rock or, or is the, the rock um, a software program which turns what the bits and bobs that we can see into looking like rock? It makes you think how much of the surface is actually like a, you know, a mineral geological You know, what is the percentage of that in relation to all these anomalies that we're seeing, which look manufactured, mechanical, and stuff here. I won't spend too much time on this. See that? is not normal rock yeah and you can say yeah it's Mars so it's not going to be normal but there's no mention of any of this sort of stuff <coughs> it seems to be everywhere see here it turns into you see how they're Tell me what you think. I mean, do, do, do you think this looks like rock? We have to consider as well that it's not just a little bit here and there. Excuse me. <coughs> it's all over the place. Have a look at some of the other videos. I don't know if any of you watch uh, Mars Anomalies, love him or hate him, it's, um, I think that's all irrelevant. It's got hundreds and hundreds of videos. So that's this area here. Can you see the lines and stuff in it? how it's coming in this here I'll show you a better picture of that what is this thing this now I was talking about these lines here so if you're at a certain distance or just normally looking at the photograph that is presented you're not going to see it let's have a look I don't know how big this is so this is the area Any, anyone else without the uh, uh, software to make these images bigger th there's absolutely no way you're going to see this but this has been added this detailing will go back through here and join up with this okay where were we It's very crude, but I'm just, just trying to highlight that you can see this stuff.
runs through. I'll show you that in more detail in a minute. If I think I've got time, I'm going to show you something else as well. Ah, but you can't see it on this. And it's something I was talking about the other day. You know, people are sort of... Um, as soon as they see something and it looks like something, they're, they're telling you that it's that, and it's not. Let me quickly show you if I've got time. Okay, so for a start, there's this here. There's all this as well. I'll show you. You can see that. It's like a face, yeah? Looks like a face. I'll just quickly show you. I enhanced that very quickly before I started this, so it's, it, it's a little bit messy. There's definitely something there. Can you see the details coming in? Remember I was talking, I'm going to be looking at these things a lot, lot closer now. So you can see how you can misinterpret what you... What see, it's, it's how your brain works. You know, it's the quickest way your your brain's going to make sense of what it's looking for, you know. Or what it's looking at, rather. Okay. No, black and white warm. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the main one I'm going to be working on. <coughs> And like I say, this is nowhere near finished. But I'm going to start showing you some of the stuff that is, is, is coming through here. So we'll let's just start back over here. Okay. And so like I say, th this hasn't, this is nowhere near finished. But I thought it's at a stage where maybe some of you can make some sense out of this. Not <coughs> that it does make any sense. But as soon as you start seeing and noticing this stuff, <coughs> that's when the questions start. How big is this? I need to go a lot, lot bigger on this, so I will have some much better images of this coming up at some point. Excuse me, guys. So if you're new, um, this is purely the information in the image which I'm pulling out with uh, the dodge and burn tools. Now I must say that the, now there you can see the, the change in the quality. From there, you see how this doesn't run through. And it's not to do with the distance of the mountains in the background.
just pause it and have a look. It's these are not rocks. going to be bringing all this out. Okay, let's go and have a look at some other bits and then I'll leave you to it. And I can do some more work on this and show you at a later date. Oh, and on the last video as well, I said I hadn't looked at any of the Perseverance images. I did yesterday, and lo and behold, found some very unusual stuff with the same, the, the, exactly the same stuff. Have I got it up here? No, I haven't. tell me what you think this is I mean you can look at the other videos you can look at other people's videos and it's there it's part of the landscape or is it the landscape and they're just covering it up how would that work what does it what does it mean why is this stuff so manufactured looking because it is I don't know I've been doing this for years now and it still just completely amazes me I was thinking yesterday as well, it's like <coughs> all this stuff looks the same. Be it from an orbiter image, it has the same traits of like this small stuff that we're seeing here. So it's big and the closer you get in, if you if it was something wrong with the image or the, 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 the processing was screwing it up, for a start it wouldn't be a true representation of what we're supposed to be looking at as far as we know. But the closer in we get, it still looks the same. So what does that mean? I mean, is it, it, 
is it some uh, some sort of tech which regenerates itself in the in the same type as manner as the as the huge structures or what there's no denying this stuff is there read it Yeah, this. So you can see this here. That's just mask. This is what happens when I do things quickly. It makes a bit of a mess of it. It's where you've got to be really careful. Because you can lay stuff down that is not going to help you. stuff let me blap it quick Let's just have a quick look at some of the mountain stuff. See the quality change? I could say they miss bits. Or the software miss, misses bits. Through here. Okay. Let's see if I've done anything on that bit. Stuff in here as well. So you can see it is everywhere. Okay, right guys, so I'm going to let you go and I'm going to 
carry on doing this. I've got I've got loads of stuff, loads of stuff coming, and it just gets better. So don't be afraid to talk to people about this. Um, share it and uh, it's important we need to change the way people think I know all this space is is the ways we need to concentrate on our planet and if people knew about this stuff then uh, I think it would make a big difference to the way people think Okay, and like I say, I stumbled upon this because I was reading the article. Um, that's how crazy it is. It was a difficult one to pull out initially, but it's all there. And I reckon it's in every single... If I'll show you that pr uh, Perseverance one as well. Yeah, it's insane. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.